Maintaining good dental health is something that is instilled into most of us from the time we're children. However, only 30% of Americans floss daily, 37% floss less than daily, and 32% never floss. These numbers are self-reported, so the reality is probably even less. More than one in five Americans reported that they had not visited the dentist in several years and nearly 50% of Americans under the age of 30 and 70% of Americans over the age of 65 have some form of periodontal disease. The link between gingivitis and periodontal disease and cancer is quite strong. Periodontal disease has been linked to a 74% increase in pancreatic cancer, 31% increase in bladder cancer, 30% increase in lung cancer, 25% increase in prostate cancer. Periodontitis is also linked to a 14% increased risk of overall cancer incidence and a 33% increase in mortality rate during cancer treatment. Additionally, 3% of all cancers are formed directly in the mouth and pharynx. These cancers are keenly affected by oral health. How does it happen? Gingivitis and periodontal disease, which really are degrees on the same scale, are thought to contribute to cancer by increasing systemic inflammation and potentially migration of oral bacteria to other parts of the body. It may be difficult to imagine, but oral bacteria can disseminate into the blood, stomach, heart, and even reach the brain. In one study, Blood samples were stored on over 385,000 European men and women. 405 of those people were later diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. When the samples were re-examined, people who had high antibodies for the bacteria P. gingivalis, one of the main constituents of dental plaque, had an over 200% higher chance of developing pancreatic cancer than those with low. Having antibodies to P. gingivalis indicates bacteria had migrated out of the oral cavity and into the bloodstream. 70% of the dry weight of dental plaque is bacteria, and P. gingivalis has been implicated as one of the key drivers of plaque formation. So, to put it another way, if you have plaque, you have P. gingivalis. In an animal study, saline that contained P. gingivalis was injected into mice once every three days for a month. When the scientists sacrificed the mice, they found REG3G, a gene related to pancreatic cancer, was one of the 10 genes with the highest levels of expression in the mouse pancreas. In fact, mice that received the solution with P. gingivalis had a 73-fold increase in REG3G expression compared to the control group, so if you have any kind of inflammation in your mouth, such as the inflammation and bleeding caused by periodontal disease or inflammation and bleeding due to some kind of tooth injury, taking care of it may improve your outcome with cancer. Additionally, there is a strong correlation between periodontal disease and both Alzheimer's and rheumatoid arthritis. Lastly, cancer treatment, in particular chemotherapy, may decrease overall dental health, so prevention is warranted. Do root canals cause cancer? We see no conclusive evidence of this. In fact, one study found a negative correlation. In a human study, root canals were not associated with the higher levels of C-reactive protein, a key marker of inflammation. So although it's not outside the realm of possibility that some kind of inflammation or bacteria related to a root canal could, in theory, promote cancer, we see no pressing reason to yank out your root canals if you have cancer.